feel like we can have a rave party in here now that these lights are installed. Hey folks, it's AK here, and today we are going to be talking about the Baznor LED strips. Um, very cool, and it actually helps uh, give you guys a kind of normal feeling when driving the Tesla at night. I've noticed that when I drive at night without this on, it was very dark, and especially coming from a traditional ICE car, um, you're used to seeing a dash and some lights up here instead of just having this in the middle and nothing else inside. So this really uh, broke that up and kind of helps um, give you a sense of normal light uh, distribution instead of just one big screen that's bright. So um, stay tuned. I'll show you guys how to install this and it comes in two different versions. One which is just for the Model Y and 3 which uh, is the center console and the second version also for the model uh, Y and 3 that goes across the uh, dash. Uh, S and X, I don't know that there is something, but you can definitely retrofit it into there. So maybe we'll cover that in another video. But today, it's all going to be about installing and um, testing this out. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. This is the install portion for the Baznor LED light kit that they've given. And as you saw before, all the parts are included. Um, now, don't be afraid from ordering the full kit, which is on the dash and the console. And the reason for that is it's not very hard to install and route the cable underneath here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do exactly that. So depending on which kit you got, you either will have two pieces for the center console here or three pieces with a longer piece for the dash, which is what I've got here. So make sure you don't put the dash piece on the console. I mean, it's hard to mess up, but just in case. So what you wanna do first is get that edge tool that comes with it and wedge it right in here so as to give you guys a little gap to wedge the light tube in. Once you've established this, it becomes very easy. So again, using the wedge tool, you wanna go ahead and press in. Actually, you just kind of press it in on the side. I'm gonna zoom in a little here, maybe even more, so you guys can see. So you press it in right here, and then the edge of the top comes in right here, and as you come down, you wanna work this nice and easy. Nice and easy so it comes in. And again, take your time, use the tool. As it gets a little harder, go ahead and wedge the tool in, in between, and then press this down. And as you work, it'll easily flow right into the crevices. A nice trick is to actually wedge this here. And as you move it along, you can press this in so that makes it a lot faster. So once you've gone ahead and routed it, you wanna make sure that all your edges are nice and flush. I do have a little bit of a pop out here, which I will fix in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys that the fiber optic uh, piece here, or I don't know what you want to call it. That, you want to go ahead and unscrew this little piece right here, on here, and then you insert the end right into here. Once you've inserted the end, you want to go ahead and tighten that back up and test to make sure it works. Whoa, pretty cool. Like I said, I've got that little bulge slightly here. You can't really tell, but it already is looking pretty nice. Now, one thing I didn't take into account was that I actually pulled the line out a little bit. So as you can see, there's quite a bit excess here, but as you can tell, you can simply push this piece in and it will flow right through. So that will kind of eliminate any issues. So really cool. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll show you how to do the dash. So I'm gonna advise everyone to do the easy part first, which is literally doing this front console area and also taping the light tube to the dash. A lot simpler than routing all the cables and we'll save that for the second part. So first, let's go ahead and route all the cables through here. And again, this is pretty simple with this wedge tool. I'll show you how I got how to do that in a second. Now this next part is a little tedious, 
So this is for the dash kit. So if you've got only the console kit, no worries. But if you've got the dash, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. So what we need to do is we take this red automotive tape, peel one side only, not both sides, but just one side. That means you simply peel this back. You don't need to take out the red backing. And as you peel it back, you want to adhere it to the bottom of this light tube right here towards the front. Because basically, this is going to be stuck underneath the dash here. We are going to be taping it like so. I mean, a little closer to the edge, but you get the drift. So you wanna make sure that it is taped. And then once we've got the bottom taped all the way through, then we can start removing this red piece because that makes it a lot easier to stick it to the bottom of the dash. So as you can see here, I am taping the top piece to the bottom of the light tube. And again, it doesn't matter which side you put it on because uh, either way, it's going to be the same. Just one side is gonna have the adhesive. And you wanna go nice and slow to where uh, you don't overlap the tube itself. It's only on this long part towards the back. You wanna basically tear off the edge and start on the driver's side because this is where we've got the light plug that plugs into the uh, fiber, um, the optic cable, it's not a fiber optic, but what have you. And you wanna kind of test fit it on the bottom right here, like so. So once you've got it test fitted, do you wanna go ahead and start taping it? And I know it's a little hard to see, but once you start taping it with the other hand, go ahead and start removing this piece here. And that will allow you to continuously go along the entirety of this front dash without worrying about messing up. Thing to note is that they do give you a hex Allen key here. And you need that because as you can see, the panel's already out here. However, you've got to remove a total of three screws, two of these rivets, which will pop right out if you've got a flat head. It's literally this plastic screw in this rivet and that's what's held together. And it goes onto two points, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. And then you've got this hex screw right here. You use that Allen key to take it apart. So thankfully, not too hard. All right, so before I get too far into this, I wanted to show you guys where you need to remove the screws. So you've got the rivet here, the actual hex screw here, and one more rivet right here. So a total of three. And this panel, once it's been removed, once the rivets are removed, you can actually put your hand down here and literally just pop it down. Just be wary of the two cable connectors here. At this point, you wanna go ahead and turn on the connector. So the light is actually lit on the LED and this is gonna make it easier to route. So once you've got that panel down, easiest way to route is actually going around this center console side cowl piece and it routes right underneath. So it actually wedges out a little bit. So if you use the crevice tool here, you'll see that you can actually push the wire all the way in for a nice clean look. And now this is going to be the little tricky part. We've actually got to put our hand all the way inside this crevice here that we've just opened. And we're gonna be able to see the light right through there. And that's why we want it on. You see where that light is? We're gonna be able to route it right through one of these holes or right through here. All right, folks, so in order to get to that uh, area that you wanna loop the LED base into, you have to take out this panel right here, which is on the driver's side. And once you wedge that yellow tool right in here, this pops right off. You do have to give it a nice little pop off. It's a little hard, but if you slowly, slowly pull, it will come off. Um, you can probably do it better with two hands than one. Yeah, so finally got it off. But you can see it's held on by three clips. One, two, and three. And this is what it looks like on the back. So if it doesn't come off here, and you can see I kind of scuffed this wood here, but hopefully it'll be easier for you guys. This was actually a little farther in than most pieces would be for the trim, but hopefully it'll be easier for you to take that out. When you can't pull out a wire, you gotta fish it. I got a wire hanger here, 
and what I did was I stuck it through down here to where it came out on the bottom and then just got the wire right through and oh well <laughs> you saw it it came up right there and that way you can just pull it or pass it through one of these holes and then hook it up to the LED right up here all right so before I tuck this in I'm gonna show you guys how this is exactly routed so no one is confused so it comes out from the console goes underneath here and it is wrapped all the way underneath and then I've got that hole there I put it against the uh, cushion here pressed in a little bit and got it to go inside this hole and then it comes in from the bottom of the driver's side trim piece up in here and then we fished it all the way to the top right here so that is how it's routed and hopefully it should be easy enough it takes you probably about five minutes to remove that piece to route it through it'll take you prob probably I'd say five to ten minutes depending on your skill level and uh, how handy you are with a wire hanger and then the rest is um, up to you how long it takes or how long you want it to take again there's no rush there's no race you can do the uh, console pieces first and then save this for the evening or some other day okay folks so I wanted to actually install it and then show it to you because this is the most important part when routing this cable if you look here I've actually lifted the dash and push the cable through and you should see it stick out right here and at that point you can go ahead and connect it to the LED output but very important you want to lift this piece right here and that'll allow you to wedge it inside the dash piece right here and then go all the way through the other thing is right here at the corner I'm gonna try to focus in a little bit there um, I've actually cut this piece just a bit from the edge so it's not all the way at the edge I've cut it right here so this uh, fiber the optic cable can actually go inside and then dangle down here you don't want to put it here because when you put that plastic piece back it will crush it and then basically it will block the light once this uh, optic cable is bent it kind of stops the light so you want to make sure there are no hard bends when you are installing it. This is the other important part. Once you've installed it, how you like it and everything looks good, go ahead and trim the edge piece off with a pair of scissors. That includes the optic cable as well. And you'll see right here at the end, I actually had some hard bends. So you don't want to cut this until you get everything situated because I had those hard bends initially. I just swapped out the uh, ends of the optic cable and that prevented me from having less light come through. I feel like with these lights installed, we can definitely have a nice little rave party. So folks, I wanted to tell you what different presets you've got in the app. So one, um, you've got the app here, it's called Lotus Lantern, very easy to use, um, very easy to connect as well. You scan a QR code. This preset lets you do all sorts of different things um, with the lights you can change them to different colors here based on this color wheel etc then you've also got different styles you can do static which is what I usually do I'll just do like a static blue so it's not too distracting at night and I'll turn the uh, brightness down as well you can turn it off completely with the uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter or you can change your brightness in here if you wanted to uh, play some music and have it dance to the music you can do that then the other thing is also with this mic. So as I'm talking, the lights are also changing. Um, last thing is the schedule. So say if you want the lights to only turn on at a certain time, you can do that too. And it's very handy. I generally don't do it. I just kind of keep them all uh, on at, uh, at all times. So um, very cool, very easy to use uh, app. And you can, um, uh, you know, have it sync to your uh, personal music or uh, something else. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching really uh, hope you enjoyed that install process and hopefully you install these lights if not no worries but you can go ahead and get 10% off with the discount code BASNOR10 
And also if you haven't seen my other videos, I've got the sunshade for the Model Y as well as things to look out for when purchasing your Model Y. So thanks again and we'll see you guys next time.